Hello guys, Holy Hushy and today well, I'm doing my review, finally doing my review on the iPad Air 2. Uh, I did say I'd doing this a while ago, the reason why I've left it so long is because I wanted um, it to be running the um, famous iOS 9 to be installed, so I was just so desperate. I was I, w I did film it but I didn't want but I didn't upload it because I thought it was just not in I, I thought it'd be better off doing it with the iOS 9 the new whole series that everyone's so excited about and also series are more has a more responsive sort of thing so yeah I left it for a little bit longer so today so today we're going to be doing a view we're going to be doing a view on the iPad Air 2 so yeah let's get started First of all, even when it isn't included with iOS 9, the iPad Air 2, the most thing I love about this is Touch ID. All you need to do is is tap your finger on it and it's awake when you've released your finger. You've got to keep hold of it for a couple of seconds and then it's unlocked your iPad without using the passcode. And even if you swipe it, it says Touch ID or Enter Password and all I need to do is this. And then you're logged in. Simple as that. And yeah, that's the first reason why I love the iPad Air 2. Another reason is now, that is included with iOS 9, is the new Siri. And it works well, way much more efficiently and better with the iPad Air 2, as I will now demonstrate. How is the weather going to be today? Okay, here's the weather for today. And it displays the weather for the weekly forecast very nice and yeah that's another reason why I think the iPad 2 with iOS 9 is great reason number three first of all more like iOS 8 there was a most mostly if you kept doing this there'd be a big sort of lag in my opinion with this tablet now it's easy and also now you can do a split screen uh, for example, if I open my YouTube and if I swipe this way, I can put a double screen so I could watch a YouTube video and also search the internet at the other side. Like if I use Google search, it won't interfere with anything, but it will stop that though. But let me type in something like um, Peugeot 505, since it's one of my latest search, it just brings up that. And I can also have this video playing and then I can screw that. Because I'm going to stop this now for any copyright reasons. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's a little thing that I just included. So yeah, that's another reason that I like about it. Another reason is there is no lags when playing games. It is a big deal when, play when playing games, as most people will do when playing iPads. Very responsive, as you can see. Just by playing this game, it's already doing a very good job, when, especially when playing zombie highways, so there is no pollen whatsoever. Very responsive, no pollens whatsoever, very quick action. I have no deal, bad deals with this whatsoever, except I just failed there, but that's another reason is there is no lag when playing games, that is a real good thing about iOS 9, and with the iPad Air 2. I recommend this is a good tablet for gaming. Another reason is, using social media apps, there is no problem. I can easily use, watch any, I can easily browse anything at my pleasure. There is no problem when browsing, very quick and responsive. So there is no problem. This is a great tablet for using social media. So yeah, that's another reason. Another reason is the internet the internet receive receiving from my router, even this depends on my on my router's speed test. I do get it depends also how far away you are from the router, and the I'm quite I'm right at the end of the house, and my tablet's having no problem of getting high speed connections. As you see, this thing is quite normal, even by even fast by my router. I'm still it gets roughly about here and even still I'm still getting a very strong and fast connection and I'm pretty happy about that and the upload speed is also half decent too. Seems even when I'm downstairs it's here 
it's a pretty good job as well. So that's another good reason of, of buying the iPad Air 2. Battery percentage as well is very good. I, I have this battery I have this um, battery app that tells me how much percentage I also have on my battery and also how long I can play games or we watch movies for. As you say here, I can browse the internet. This browsing the internet thing is a bit wrong, but it says 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Of course, I can do more. Playing music, 170, 72 hours, that is right. I, playing movies back and forth through the internet is fine. I can play 3D games for two minutes and it gives real back information and the battery in my opinion the battery um, usage is very reliable and I can get I can I'll if I'm spent all day on this like literally all day it will from from beginning from 9 a.m. as soon as I wake up I'll I'll definitely drain it all the way down to the bottom in about until the afternoon at four, at probably about four o'clock. So the battery percentage for watching videos and stuff is re really reasonable for this tablet. So yeah, that's another reason of buying the iPad Air too. Okay, guys, that's my review of the iPad Air too. Now the now the angle. I've just wanted to do a little change. This has nothing to do with this video though. Uh, that was my brief review of the iPad Air too. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So yeah, as always, guys. Um, that that I that's if you need a better review because I only have a few things I can say really with the review I'm giving out to you guys. But if you want any more information, then I would recommend you go to the Drawboard Doc on YouTube. Search that into your web browser and go to the iPad Air 2 unboxing and review, and you'll get a full complex review for something even better than I could ever do but yeah guys that's pretty much it so yeah please comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys please come and subscribe